Okay guys, uh, here we go with our uh, radio project. I, I ran into some snafus and uh, this is where I think uh, you guys are going to be able to help. <laughs> you know, it's going to be like a project, we're all doing this together. Because I'm not, one of the reasons I'm doing it, I want to learn. And, you know, I'm not the big expert. And, uh, you know, everybody knows like little different parts. And if we all throw it together, we'll all, uh, we'll all become geniuses in radio. But anyway, okay, so <laughs> I, I, I did the step one and I did the assembly. And I'll tell you what, everything fit real nice, come out together the way they sent it with the, uh, you know, the, the caps and the resistors on those cards. You, you know, you don't have to go look, you, right there it is, boom, grab it, put it in, make sure you're putting it in right and solder it. I mean, it's, it works really well. Uh, put all those together, I put the switch in. And right now I'm, I've got, this is the first one we do the IC where we're using the uh, uh, LM386 got the battery holder in and uh, so okay so got the speaker in that works out real nice and you know went through the whole deal here uh, went through all the steps in okay <clears throat> now we get to the testing part all right and uh, we're gonna have to we might have to continue this one on, on this part and some others uh, and I think that's going to have a lot to do with your feedback. Now, uh, the first test that it has us do, it says uh, static measurements, the power test. It says uh, we're going to we're going to check the uh, how many milliamps are in there right now. So it has a diagram shows you how to shows you how to hook it up and everything. Okay, and and that's what I've done. I, I've got it all hooked up the way it's supposed to. And uh, and you want to turn your uh, volt ohmmeter. It says to uh, two amps um, DC. So okay, we're on amps DC. Now you know if you've got an automatic one, just you know do what you have to do. And if you've got one that's got the uh, you know where you, all the like this the readings and that, then there's a certain area on there that you have to. Uh, to set and you should know that so okay so anyway so we've got the meter set at uh, for two amps reading and then we're going to now it says here adjust your meter for more accurate reading if necessary if the current is greater than 20 milliamps immediately turn off the power so in other words uh, you know, you might have put something in backwards or wrong or whatever, and it's going to be too high. And you get you just you got to really watch that first initial turn on. It says the current should be less than 10 milliamps. Okay, this is the current drawn by the battery when no input signal is present, or it's called the idle current. Okay, then it says turn off the power. Now, if uh, if, if this fails, if you have like hardly no reading at all you know like if you don't have any reading or if you have one that's over 10 uh, shut out you gotta go back and start tracing because something somewhere something's wrong you gotta check all your solder connections make sure your capacitors are put in right you know uh, negative side to the negative mark on the board but it says we should be less than 10 milliamps so let so let's do that okay right, let's uh, turn it on we're gonna got now I'm going to take my uh, my meter and let's see. All right, I uh, I switch meters because I think my other ones my batteries are going bad. So I, I set this meter here. Okay, I set it for the low reading. And I'm getting 3.6 milliamps, which is uh, it's below 10, and it's on the lowest thing, so that should that should be good. So okay, so we pass that part there. Thank goodness. <coughs> now, uh, 
cut this off. Now the next one says, okay, now we're going to put the battery in. Suppose I, uh, let me show you the setup here I had real quick. <coughs> okay. Okay, there's, there's the board right here. And I don't have the battery in yet, okay? So I, I just ran some lines because, like I said, this is just the first test. Okay, so let me tighten this again here. All right. Thank goodness for editors. Okay, so we passed that test. So now uh, it says the output bias test. All right, so for this test here, first we've got to put the battery in. So, <clears throat> so move this down here. Okay. Then we're going to put the battery in. Nice little holder right here. Just kind of snap it in and push it down and we're ready to go see it okay okay so now we got the, the batteries in and we've got our little test points and all that all around here that we're going to be using so next up it says uh, adjust your meter to read 9 volts okay so and go on the volt side, and let's sort of read that. And it says, uh, and we got to connect it like it wants us to here in, uh, in seven. So it shows the uh, uh, the ground goes to uh, test point 15. Now, let me tell you something about test point 15 that's that's more that's further away on the board. But it, it's a ground point, and it's a common ground point for everything. So you can just put everything hook on that, and then you just do your points from there. So uh, I'll show you right here up here is uh, which we soldered in at the very beginning is uh, solder point 15 or test point 15, and that's and it's a ground point. So here we go from there. Now. It says, uh, it shows, let's go, okay, turn the power on and go to test point one. And it should be between three and six volts. All right, so, so let's do that. Let's turn it on. And we're going to go to test point one. which should be this one right here okay so I've got I've got a test point one and okay uh, and like I said before you know checking meters I'm bouncing back and forth between these meters Okay, uh, I had on the uh, voltage AC instead of DC, and I wasn't getting a good reading. So, uh, you know, it makes sense. You got to watch what you're doing. Um, I got to give the guys that do these videos all the time uh, while they're doing this kind of work credit because, you know, it's tough to, like, concentrate on this and really, you know, and then make sure, and then try to explain it and do a video and make sure that everything's right. So, a lot of those, you know, a lot of guys too. They they really know their stuff. I'm still learning. So uh, after all these years, okay. So let's give this a test. All right, I'm getting uh, 3.86, and according to our according to our book here, uh, we should be getting. three to six. So that's pretty good, isn't it? Okay, we're right in the ballpark. So, uh, 
so that will work for us there. Whoops. Okay, let's shut it off. Let's shut this off. And, uh, so, uh, like I said, we did what we could do. We did the test that we could do for the moment. And, uh, you know, now, now here, here's the question. Uh, can I do those same tests using uh, a frequency from my generator that's a lot higher? In other words, it's telling me that, you know, uh, normally it's done at you know, 1 kilohertz. We're using 400. Uh, my lowest setting is 150 kilohertz. Uh, can I do the test at 150 kilohertz and get the same results? That I would if uh, if I was using a, a lower frequency. I'd say I don't, I don't know that, so I'm trying to learn more about doing these tests and uh, so I can be better at it. And uh, so if somebody out there you know says yeah sure you just do this and you might have to make an adjustment, uh, I'd love to hear it. And anybody else, I'm sure that's uh, watching this would love to hear it too. So uh, uh, feedback is so important. So, you know, and your comments are, are, are a treasure, too. So, you know, please. So with that, okay, uh, on to uh, making the uh, uh, the transistor board. And, uh, and we'll go from there. And as soon as I get that done, we'll pop on here and run those tests. Okay, till then, uh, God bless everybody, and uh, I'll see you real soon. Have fun.